Okay, so this is your uh, differential equation. So you are supposed to make this in uh, Simulink, right? So you go to Simulink and uh, make a new model. Uh, you get a new pop-up window and where you can make a new model. All you have to do is drag and drop the entities here. Uh, since I have uh, uh, double differentiation, I mean uh, the second order derivative here and I have already separated it out. Values of M, C and K are given here and these are the initial conditions. This is your differential equation. So now uh, you basically have to define your f of t. Now let me define an f of t which is given to you as something like this. Okay. Uh, oops, uh, control f of f of t is uh, zero uh, for t less than one. Okay. And one for t greater than or equals to one. Right. So this is my uh, step function. Yeah. So first I will define the signal. Right. Uh, you can define the source. Go step. to source. We have a step function there. Drag it and drop it. Double click on the step function. You will get its attributes. This is what I want right now. I'll leave it as it is. Now uh, you have just created what is f of t, but that has a gain of one by m. Right. So what should I be doing now? I should make a gain. Go to math operation math operation and make a gain right uh, take a gain and put it there and the value of gain is what 1 by m and the value of m is 1 so 1 by 1 is remaining 1 so that's the default value I'll keep it as it is okay so this is what is this gain 1 by m is again this is what is this step function right f of t which is a step function okay now <coughs> I uh, let me zoom this a bit yes now what do i have i have created one i have created this part right i need to make this part but this part has a derivative which i can obtain only when i integrate the x double dot but i don't know where x double dot is so i'll just drop a integrator button right drag and drop but at this integrator also has a bound initial condition so i'll make it external right so now i have two blocks okay I don't know what goes inside that but one thing what should go inside is that yeah. it is the initial condition right so I'll take a constant block and the initial condition says that the value of x dot is 1 right so I'll maintain that and I'll drag this and then connect it over here right so now this has an exit right now what is that exit here this is x that's x right now once I uh, go back and look at this I have made this but however I have not made this exactly but uh, now it has a gain of how much 1 by m so I will have to make that gain also so you have a gain there which is being there and control i to flip it and then uh, connect it to x right and what is that value of uh, gain again 1 by m so that remains as it is so I think I have made a mistake here this is c by m this is, this is k by m c is 0 0.1 okay c is 0 0.1 right now uh, let me make this as a bit lesser okay a bit, a bit higher 0 0.6 uh, this is the value of c that i have so what should be the gain 0 0.6 by m right 0 0.6 that is 0 0.6 is the gain and where does gain goes to i don't know i'll just leave it open ended fine and uh, why This is the problem. I don't have a mouse. Should I wait? Should be able to do it. Okay, fine. No, no issues. Yeah. Okay. Now one more thing that I'm going to be needing is what? The mouse is full. Which one? There. The I, I need another integrator block, right? And I need one more constant. I need one more gain, right? So I'll basically I'll need all this. So no, what is the exit of this? This is actually x x prime. Sir, tomorrow morning nine thirty. What? Exact. Which exact? Oh yeah, yeah, correct. Then copy this. Okay. Over here. Paste that. So, but this is for what? This constant is for what? That constant is for x. X. X is x of zero is what? X of zero is zero. Thank you. X of zero is zero. Now, what is this gain? That is ten. 
10 by 10 by on that is going to be 10 10 okay so now i have made uh, certain things and this is actually not x dot now this is just x, x right the output of this is, is going to go into what i am going to visualize that right so go to sync and i have a scope that is i connect this to scope and i will also take a sim out right sim out and connect this okay right so now i can also take one more sim out right one more sim out right this so i'll just extend this so x dot has to be fed into this right hmm? that is what x dot goes now i'll take the value of x dot also to this so this i will make that this is what x dot right so what is this on the other hand this one is what that is this x right so now i have a gain and this gain and that gain this gain yes both should be fed into something right something. yes okay now what do i have this this part is done first part is finished second part is also finished third part is also finished so now i then add them all up sum them up so now what do i go i go to this uh, take a math operation come down you have something called as a sum take that and drop it but i need what do i need i get minus and a minus so i have something like that so i'll connect this there one is going to go here and one more there and this will come there so have we finished modeling the differential equation yes, yes. now what i can also do is introduce something called as a source or a sink uh, in sink i need an xy graph also okay i'll take an xy graph as well uh, one input for this xy graph is going to be what one input for this xy graph uh, is going to be x itself correct and another input for this xy graph is going to be x dot did you understand this yes yes <coughs> Okay. Now we have made our model. So what do I have? I have a fit step function, and there's a gain for it. One by this, this complete one by m f of t, and uh, this this C completes by C by m into x dot, and uh, this completes what k by, m. k by m into x. Okay. Now all of them are beautifully getting added up right so now we just have to what model configuration and let it initialize now i'm going to change this a bit i want to fix it step size and let me decrease this right about 0.8 8 times cost right now i'll run this compiles it runs so now we have made right scope gives you so this is how the system behaves the oscillations behave right and let me introduce one more scope uh, for the looking at the velocities i have one more so sync right so that is a sync i put one sync there and this sync is for what this sync is for x dot right that sync is for x dot separate x dot so right now nothing is there you will have to run it again done scope this gives you the value of velocity velocity right now you see according to the initial condition initial condition velocity was one so now you have one okay you, you have any doubts in this so this is the simulation of uh, second